What is going on everyone? I'm Sir James from Gamer Fusion and I'm here to try out a demo for Journey. This game came out, I believe it was last year that this game came out. I've been hearing a lot of great things about it that it's a must have game and so I figured I'd try it out and see what it's about. Uh, the game has really caught my interest to be honest because I'm hearing a lot of people talk about it and I was looking because my local GameStop has the Journey Collector's Edition which I'm thinking of getting for my next pay. What do you guys think? Is it something I should get? Let me know in the comment section down below. So now normally I don't do commentary on walkthroughs, but this is not really a walkthrough. I'm just here trying out the demo, give you guys my personal thoughts and opinions about the game. At the moment, I'm really liking the visuals and the sound. I have my uh, 7.1 surround sound headphones on and the sounds in this will sound fantastic to be honest. Alright, so you're playing as a mysterious hooded figure. I'll oh, sweet you get to use the six axes. Sweet. I like it when they implement the uh, you know the control options for the game. So just staring at this desert currently at the visuals. Let's go ahead and just take a look around. At the moment, look great. Even though you're just in the middle of the desert, which is a, a few things around me, uh, I mean, visually it looks great so far. And this is only the beginning. I can't wait to see what's up ahead. Now I don't know how long the demo is. If it's short or long. Hopefully it's a decent sized demo. Okay, struggling up the sand hill. I wonder what else you're able to do. Okay, so pushing O has this little musical note thing. And that's the only thing I have right now. So I'm able to rotate the camera with the six axes, which is cool. And then let's see what's up here. Sweet journey. pretty cool. And I think the main quest of this game is to make my way up to that mountain all the way across my field. You see the mountain over there, you know, on the other side of my character, that beam up into the sky. I think that's where you have to get to in this game. I heard it wasn't that long, but then again, I heard this game is amazing. So, uh, I mean, even if it's not long, but it's amazing, then that's a great thing to hear. So what are these? Are these like tombstones? Kind of look like tombstones. I wonder if there's like a backstory or something like that. I heard that it's not like a deep story or anything like that, but um... It's alright. I think this game is about the visual exploration and the music, to be honest. Okay, there's something up here. What is this? Okay, is that like a scarf or something like that? Holds, all right. Oh, okay, so now I can jump. What do these things do? Let's see, jump. I can't jump again. Oh, okay, so in, o in order for me to jump, I need to stock up on these things, which allow me to jump. Okay, so pretty cool. So, journeying onto the mountain, I see some more of those floating pages. I think they're called pages, right? So jump over there, see how far you can go. Oh, wow, you get some good distance with that jump. See how far we get. About halfway ish there. Pretty cool. And the music in this game is fantastic. I like I said, I think there's a collector's edition for thirty dollars that has Journey and like two other games. I think the game company is called That Game Company or something like that, which is an interesting name. 
Um, but I know you get three games, the soundtrack, a, the PlayStation Network avatars, I think like 20 avatars, and a month of PlayStation Plus, which I think that's a pretty good deal for $30. Or you can buy it used for 20 or I think it's like $25 used, but I think I'll buy it new because I have not tried out the PlayStation Plus membership, so it gives me a month to at least try it out. See, I should have saved that jump, but it's all right. Oh, you can slide in the sand. Oh, there's a hill. I wonder if he slides down. Sweet, slant, <laughs> sand surfing. Slide. Yeah. Yeah, I see something over here glowing. I'm not sure what it is. Let's go ahead and check it out. What are these? Are these hidden? Are you able to open these cages or something? Hmm, eventually I'll figure it out. Maybe that's just the design of the cages. Let's see what is this thing over here? Oh, that extends it, so it allows me for mo more jumps or higher jumps or something like that. Pretty cool. I wonder if there's any more. Whoa, that's a high jump. Oh, wait, there's another one over there. Alright, let's see if I can stock up some more. Oh wait, I need another boost. Oh, that's all I get? Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's get up there. Let's see, I think we could just jump right here, right? Cool. I wonder how far that goes in terms of the ability. Alright, so if you just lightly tap jump, then you use part of it, but if you hold it, you use more of it. All you do is just walk up on these edges and he'll jump up automatically. Hold circle, okay. Ooh, what's going on? Pretty cool. Well, I'm really enjoying this demo. <laughs> Even though there's no story base behind it, I, I'm really enjoying the visuals and stuff like this in the game. Alright, so it's telling me to hold the circle. Oh, it's like a little boost. Sweet. Okay, what do I do here? Oh, I think I gotta light these up or something. Sweet. Okay, let's see, what do we do next? Oh, he just sits, or it, whatever your character is, I don't really know. What is that, is that a person? See, that's the mountain I'm trying to get to. I'm guessing it's some type of um, story being told here. I'm guessing that's uh, to resemble life. Tombs, I I'm just trying to piece together these things. Oh, and that's based off my character. Or you mean the people you're playing as. Interesting. So 
so this is I guess the type of checkpoint I wonder if you every time you reach a section like this I wonder if it's like tells more of the story or something like that well actually technically it's not telling you the story because you have to figure it out for yourself but pretty cool I'm liking it so let's just go ahead and take a quick pan around over here in this section and if I recall journey is a PlayStation 3 exclusive and one of the, from what I'm hearing, a must-own exclusive as well. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should pick up the Collector's Edition? Let me know in the comment section down below, and if I should do a walkthrough, I feel free to just, you know, leave a comment or leave this, have this video a thumbs up, and tell me what you guys think. Because like I said, the Collector's Edition comes with three games. You have Journey, the main game, and two others, Feathers, and something else. So pretty cool, more to the demo. So I guess we do get a nice lengthy demo. So let's go ahead and begin. Wait, wait. Oh, it ended. To continue the journey, purchase the full game, open the place it network. I have no money right now until the 15th. Well, I guess that's the end of the demo. So what do you guys think? Sh should I get this game and do a walkthrough and review? Let me know in the comment section down below. And right now I'm really high highly considering of picking up Journey anyways, um, but I'm probably going to get the Collector's Edition because I like physical copies for games and seeing that I could get the game, two others, and a bunch of other add-ons like the, the actual full soundtrack, which I enjoyed from what I'm hearing right now. Sounds pretty cool, but anyways, that's the Journey demo. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And anyways, I'm Sir James from Gamer Fusion, and remember, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming.